Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Brittany and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So today is something super super fun and I have been waiting like a week and a half, maybe two, to do this video. And this is going to be a video on the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powders and I got two of the new shades. The reason why I got two of them is because I think they came out with four or five new shades. I originally had Precious Petals, which is this one, and they also have another one, and it is even darker than this one. So everyone had raved about this when it first came out, which I think was a while ago, and saying the formula was amazing, the pigmentation was amazing, the glow was so wet looking and dewy and just very very natural and beautiful and I mean natural as you know it doesn't look powdery on the skin or anything like that so it looks natural but it's very intense so if you like an intense highlight this is only $4.99 now I actually did pick this up recently it was maybe like a month ago that I got this and I was actually kind of disappointed and not in the product but just the color really I love the formula I think it's so stunning it's very smooth soft buttery and it isn't powdery whereas I'm not going to lie my Anastasia um, glow kit ones are on the powdery side like when you put your brush in this you don't get a lot of kickback it feels super super smooth and creamy and when it goes on your hand it is well, hand for swatches, but when it goes on your face, it doesn't look like there's powder sitting on top of your skin. It just really looks like your skin is wet. So I put this on and I was immediately in love. I actually tried this on for the first time in one of my videos not too long ago, I believe, and you can see that I really did love it and enjoy it. But unfortunately, when I was watching my video back and I was editing and things like that, I noticed that um, right here, right on the bridge, it was dark so instead of being highlighted it looked like a dark patch and I was like did did my foundation come off you know what is this and when I was looking forward I had a dark patch right where my highlight was and you could only really the, the highlight only looked good when I was like this so like the light was hitting right where the highlight was it looked beautiful like this which is why when I was filming I most of the time look in my viewfinder and I have a tiny little mirror over here so I mean it's kind of hard for me to see like extreme details unless I'm really really looking for them so I didn't really notice but um, it didn't work well for my skin tone which is disappointing because it is so beautiful so this video is catered more towards really really fair people like me now I know some people say in my videos I can't really tell how fair I am but I'm, I'm really fair like sometimes when I take pictures and post them on my Instagram like if I have like my hand here I'm so white that this literally reflects light so much that it's just actually white like it looks like I made like some kind of editing mistake and like added light there or, like whitened it or something but I literally just like reflect light on my hands and sometimes on my shoulders I'm really really pale I'm usually the fairest shade in every foundation if you are like that, then, you know, take, take warning, take heed, take caution. Does that all sound right? Just be wary of the fact that this is actually pretty dark. So when I saw they came out with a couple new shades, I was immediately excited because, I, like I said, I love this one, but I can't use it on myself personally. I saw they had Golden Flower Crown and Blossom Glow. So usually gold highlighters don't work for me because they're basically all too dark. So I was excited because it was kind of difficult. I was trying to look at each of them compared to Precious Petals. So this is Precious Petals and this is Golden Flower Crown. And online, Golden Flower Crown did look lighter than Precious Petals. And now that I have it, I don't know if it's going to be pale enough or light enough for my skin tone. I do wish they would have come out with one that was really, really light. So I'm really hoping that I'll like Blossom Glow, and I'm a little bit skeptical about Golden Flower Crown. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some swatches real quick, just so that way you know what they look like. The formula is just so creamy, and for the most part, they feel pretty similar to each other. I don't really see 
a huge difference in their formula from one to the other. Um, I think Blossom Glow is a little bit um, creamier and softer than Golden Flower Crown. So the top one is Blossom Glow, second down is Golden Flower Crown, and third down Precious Petals. So as you can see, Precious Petals is a lot darker than Golden Flower Crown. Let me compare it to Forever Lit. So if you're someone who's really pale and uses Forever Lit, you will see the difference. So this bottom one is Forever Lit. So I am feeling pretty good about um, Blossom Glow. A little bit skeptical, skeptical about this one, and as you can see, this is just so much darker than the one I normally use. So I'm going to put Precious Petals away because I just can't use it. And I'll save that for clients because I actually, the one I use for clients is Ofer Cosmetics Rodeo Dry Highlighter and it just shattered all over my floor. And I'm heartbroken and I don't want to talk about it any more than that because it's so sad. Um, on this side of my face I'm going to put um, Blossom Glow and then on this side of my face I'm going to put um, Golden Flower Crown just because this is the side that my hair goes on and I'm actually doing a look after so if it looks kind of different I can just... It. Give it a fair chance and do it how I always do it, which is my ring fell off. Which is with my Anastasia A23 brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush. I highly recommend if you're someone who feels like they always have like a stripe and have a hard time buffing in your highlight. And I'm almost out of it, as you can see, but I need some more. Oh, there's something floating in there. What the fuck? There's like a ring in there. Anyways, I spritz my, that was so annoying, spritz my face a lot, and then I go in, so I'm going to go in with Blossom Glow first, and it does actually pick up quite a bit of product, I'm going to buff it on. As you can see, it's not powdery, it's almost immediately like sinking into my skin, immediately looks so natural. I think that's just what I meant by like the formula being amazing um, and just looking really wet, dewy, and not powdery. So as you can see, it's just like a wet look. I actually really like this color. I think it's really good for my skin tone. Um, when I look straight on, it doesn't look bad. You can kind of see it a little bit and I like to bring my highlight really far forward so that's just how it looks on me because that's how I do it. But I mean, I think it's I think I like it a lot. And now we're going to put Golden Flower Crown on this side. And it's still damp, so it should be good. Like I said, I've almost like never worn golden highlights. I don't really know how to wear them um, because they're like all too dark on me. Put a little bit above your brow, and by a little I mean a lot. So this one is definitely more intense, but that might just be because of how light it is. Um. This one's too dark for me, for sure. I'm gonna turn down my light and maybe you'll be able to see. So where this is highlighted, this is almost dark. Uh, it's not too bad, but it is too dark. Like looking straight forward, it's like a dark strip right here, whereas right here I see a light strip. So this one, <laughs> It's also too dark for me. So this will be another client one, which is fine. I don't mind that I spent $4.99 on it because it's $4.99. Um, at least this one is a win for me. I'm gonna put a little bit on top of this side just to lighten it up a little bit. Ooh, yeah, I like this one so much better. I basically put highlight all over my face, as you can see. A true test is also look how it looks on my nose, so I'll look at that in a second. It doesn't take away any light, anything like that. Um, this side is still a little bit dark, but at least it picks up a highlight. So one thing I like to do after I put a highlight on, especially if I put a lot of highlight on, I spritz my face again. Beauty blender. And I press it all in. It'll make your um, highlight and all of your powders look much more natural and like sink into your skin almost. And if it takes some of it away, you can always just add more. But I think it just sinks all of my levels 
of powder together. So that is one little trick you can do if you're someone who might have dry skin and or maybe like a powdery highlight that looks powdery. Like I have to do it with my Anastasia. Why am I running out of breath? These have such a good formula. It's honestly quite impressive for a $4.99 highlighter. They are as intense as Anastasia, as you can see. Same like pigmentation and I don't know. I think these are so impressive and I think Blossom Glow will be good for those of you who have really fair skin like me. If you're someone who has a dark complexion, then I would say don't use this one. I think like where I had a dark strip, you're going to have a weird light strip and it's just not going to look natural on you. But I know that these two will be dark for maybe medium skin tones and then they do have one or two that are much darker for very um, deep complexions. So I think they at least made their range better. This one does cater more towards someone who's fair like me, so I think that's really nice. I wish they would do another one that's even lighter. I would love for someone to come out with the most beautiful gold highlight. It's so hard to find a gold highlight for someone that's fair like me. If anyone's watching and you make highlighters, bomb ass highlighters, make one that's gold that's light enough for this. I think these are amazing. I approve of this color at least. I think the other one's beautiful. It just doesn't work for me. Alright guys, that is the whole video. Um, I wanted to do a whole one just dedicated to these highlighters because, I mean, kind of like their foundation. Wet n Wild, if I ever worked with a brand, I would hope it would be Wet n Wild. I mean, they just have such amazing products. Like, I'm wearing the Photo Focus Foundation today. And I just am so impressed with their quality. I think these are worth a trip to Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, whatever it is, picking it up. And um, I hope this helped you choose your shade. And please let me know down below what you think about the shades. Even the ones that I don't have, I know they have like a blue, purple one, things like that. So let me know what you think of the shades, which ones work for you, how you like them, all of that jazz. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!